Hello and welcome to the Engine channel. Today I will present to you a demonstration of throttle for e-bikes and other electrical vehicles. Usually we can find three models. The first one is the twist throttle, the second is the half twist throttle, and the last one is the thumb throttle. For this demonstration we're gonna use the thumb throttle, however the way of work is the same for the three models. So let's start to talk about the sensor that is inside this turtle. Basically, it's a how effect sensor. This sensor works with magnets and will transform the movement of the turtle in the electric signal that is sent to the controller and the controller will regulate the power to the motor. So now for tests, the first thing that we're going to need to know, it's about the wiring. We need to know how to connect correctly. Otherwise, we can damage the how effect sensor inside the throttle. So for the wiring, there is a pattern in the throttles independently of the manufacturer. Usually this pattern is based on the color of the wires. The red one is the positive. The black one is the negative. And the last one is the output of the throttle or the output of the how effect sensor. And usually the color is white or green or any other color that is not red or black. Other important thing is the voltage that we need to connect between the red and the black wires. Usually the voltage is 5 DC volts. However, the how effect sensor could support until 24 DC volts. Other characteristic to be considered that there are too many types of connectors between the throttle and the controller. So sometimes the manufacturer that sell the throttle don't even send a connector. So or even worse, the connector is not the properly and you should buy separately other connector that matches with your controller. So in my case, I also don't have the connector. So I will use these wires with a DuPont connector to make it possible to measure with a multimeter. Now with the connection with the multimeter will be necessary a five volts DC. So to make that I use four rechargeable batteries connected in series I will have approximately 5 volts DC. To ensure that we have 5 volts DC, we will make a measure with the multimeter connecting the positive and the negative of the battery pack on the wires of the multimeter. So let's make a measure in the pack of batteries. As you can see, we have 5.1 volts DC. What is it's almost the 5 volts DC from a usual connection in the throttle. Now I will connect the battery in the throttle. I will use the negative of multimeter as a common. And now the last wire that is the signal or the output of the throttle will be connect in the positive of the multimeter. As you can see, we have some voltage in the output. It's around 0 0.85 volts without any push in the throttle. That's meaning that the throttle is in the rest position. So now let's try to make some movement. Let's apply some pressure in the throttle to see is the behavior of our measurement of the output signal of the throttle. It's possible to see that we have an increase of the output signal until the maximum of 4.3, 4.2 voltage. And when we release the throttle, we have the same measure when we start the tests. Let's try one more time. We can see that when the throttle is in the maximum position, we have 4.3, 4.2 volts in the output. In resume, 
we have a signal between 0 0.8 volts until 4.3 according to the position of the throttle. So the part of the test of the sensor is concluded. Now let's go to the disassembly to see how is the mechanism that is inside the throttle and to see the how effect sensor. Basically we have two screws in the throttle. The Allen screw is for fix the throttle in the handlebar and the star screw it's for a cover of the throttle. So let's remove the start screw to see what is inside. Removing the cover, we can see two important things. The first one is the how effect sensor that is soldered in the end of the cable. And the other very important thing is this shiny metal piece that is a magnet that is responsible for act the how effect sensor. So when the turtle is in initial position, the how effect sensor has in your front the north pole of the magnet. When the position of the throttle is in the middle, the Hall sensor is in front, the transition between north and south pole of the magnet. And finally, when the throttle is in the maximum position, the Hall effect sensor has in your front, the south pole of the magnet. Now let's disassemble the upper part of the throttle to see better where is the Hall effect sensor. When you separate the upper part of the case, we can see the return spring and also the magnet. In the other part of the case, we can see the how effect sensor. Removing the how effect sensor from the case of the throttle, we can see that the model is 49E and this how effect sensor, it's a linear that will generate analog output according to the magnetic flux that the how effect sensor detects. Let's see in details how the spring is fastener. Basically, there is a hole in the superior part of the plastic case. And this hole lock the turning movement of the spring. As the same way, in the inferior part of the plastic case, there is another fixed point to lock as well the turning movement of the spring. So to assembly, we need to put the upper part with the spring well positioned in the holes and it's necessary make pressure and rotate counterclockwise until both part of the plastic case fit together, making that the pad of the turtle remains in original position. Finally, make a last test 
moving the pedal of the throttle to ensure that everything is all right. We also cannot forget to put the cover, especially because the cover is responsible to guarantee that the upper part of the turtle does not escape. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.